from Bobby Portis in his first game as a Razorbacks, our star of the game. How'd you enjoy playing out there tonight? Man, it was a great, it was a great experience for me to come out here and play in front of all these fans and just go out there and try to garner some experience. You said a dream come true to play here? I mean, yes, sir. Ever since I was, I can say, five years old, like I used to play for Corliss Williamson and his AAU team, so it's like a dream. You mean he was recruiting you for the Razorbacks instead of himself? Of course, if you'd have gone there, he's gone now, right? Uh, yeah, that would have been crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what you enjoy the most about tonight? Uh, tonight, just the fans and see like how the student section, like they was really into the game, even though like it was just probably 9,000 people here, but still like the student section is really into the game. And then like, I think I gained some more experience with my teammates and like our chemistry got better. Razorback fans obviously have been waiting to see you play. Does that put a little extra burden on you, knowing that there's a lot of people saying, hey, this guy's really going to be a great player? No, not really, sir. I just try to go out there and just take it one play at a time and just one game at a time, one practice at a time, and just be myself and just take it step by step because, you no, know, I can't rush this process. Get a double-double at halftime. Is it that easy? I wouldn't say it's easy, but I just try to go out there and just, be, just do me and just try to work as hard as I could. Have you always been this tall because a guy that shoots like you do shoots like a guy that was maybe smaller learning to shoot the ball before you grew that tall? I mean, from ninth grade to my 10th grade year, I grew five inches, so I guess that helps out. <laughs> certainly does. You confident in shooting the ball or scoring from anywhere on the floor? Yes, sir, I'm real confident because, no, I think right now my confidence level is like, my confidence level is like at an all-time high. You aren't the only newcomer on this team. We saw Alondis Harris. We saw, you know, we saw four newcomers in the game tonight. You all kind of feel like you fit in very well with these veterans? Yes, sir. I think I fit in real well with Cody Clark and Landis because, you know, like our front line is real big this year. Mm -hmm. I'm 6'10", Cody 6'7", and Landis 6'6". So I think, like, we can guard, like, um, we can get more rebounds and just run the floor and get easy transition buckets. We also saw you did a couple in Moses Kingsley altered shots. You don't get block shots, but when you alter shots, it's just as good, isn't it? It's just as good because, you no, know, when somebody drives to the lane, then, like, you can test their shot and they miss it. And that's a plus, too, even though I don't block the shot. I'm just causing havoc down there. And then once we get the rebound, we're running. There's major emphasis on no hand checks. Did you all see much difference in the way you practiced this year and, and the way you played the game tonight? I think they put emphasis on no hand check, but like in the game, we were still doing the hand check and like it wasn't like any difference. It's just like when you was posting up, you couldn't put your hand on the postman. Like that's a big emphasis. Like I got to work on that more. Mm -hmm. Not put my hand on the postman's back. I just got to play him off and let him have the space. Well, congratulations on a good opening night. I'll bet you can't wait till Tuesday. Can't wait, sir. Woo pig, Susan. <laughs> Very good, Bobby. He's our star of the game. Thank you for joining us.